This is the cinch mole trap, which in, which in California is the same trap as the cinch gopher trap. And uh, the long reach of the jaws makes it an ideal trap for reaching underneath rock walls or along edge, edgings and walkways um, and in main burrows to, uh, to, to catch a mole without doing too much excess digging. Often there's more damage in landscapes from setting traps than there is from the, the animals themselves. And so the cinch mole trap uh, really eliminates a lot of the digging and damage in the landscapes. Moles love to burrow underneath flagstones and eat the worms and insects that are right underneath the flagstones. And so one of the problems is they tend to make large caverns and those caverns can actually snap the flagstones when you walk on them. But trapping the moles is, is really hard underneath the flagstones because the tunnels aren't always directed. So it's better to, to try to catch the moles in areas where you can find a clear straight tunnel. The mole burrow system is much different than the gopher burrow system in that it's, it's very extensive. Moles can dig about 300 feet a day, and so they make a really large run and can run across several lawns or a whole landscape in just one day. So when we trap moles, we want to find places that moles frequent. We want to find places where they use over and over again to go from one area to another. And so um, we're going to look along borders and alongside buildings and alongside curbs. And in this uh, area that we're in right now, there is a lawn with a, uh, a trex border on it. And uh, the moles generally just follow right along the trex border. And so we're going to use two trapping strategies here. One is we're going to use the cinch trap, the cinch mole trap, which is the primary trap I use for trapping moles. And we're going to use the victor harpoon trap. The cinch mold trap looks like this, and it is exactly the same as the cinch gopher trap in some parts of the country, as it's the same mechanism. And how this works is, you intercept the mold with, this, with these jaws, and when the mold goes through the jaws, and in going in a transit area, he trips the trap like that, and he's caught. Sometimes, moles won't go near the steel trip of a trap and you have to resort to a different method of trapping them. And that method is the other trap that I use the most which is called the Victor Harpoon Trap. Now this trap works by actually spearing the mole in, in, the, in the ground. One of the problems people have with the Victor Harpoon Trap is, is that after the mole is actually caught with this trap, they'll pull the trap out of the ground and the mole will actually stay in the ground so they won't realize that they've actually caught the mole. It doesn't matter which side of the trap the mole's on because it has these, these spears or harpoons on both sides. So as the mole travels through and the trap spears him, it can be from either side. And the trap is triggered by the mole's back actually instead of by the front of the mole. So this um, mechanism here, which is the trigger pin, gets triggered by the mole's back. So here we have a mole that's following right along this edging here. You can see this is his raised tunnel going this way up to here and then back to here and then it goes all along this edging and you can see right there he's got a mound built up and then he follows the edging again. So we know that this mole travels from this pile back over to here and, and at this point here either continues along the edging or goes under the lawn. So this is a really good spot to catch a mole because it's being used as a transit area. So I'm going to set up um, two different kinds of traps on this setup. One's going to be the uh, Victor Harpoon right here, and then back over here on that mound, we're going to put in a cinch trap. So, to start with our Victor Harpoon, we start with the trap on set and we push it in the ground to make sure there's a really clear passageway for the, the actual harpoons or spears to go into the ground unobstructed. And we'll take it out. I used to take my heel of my foot, push it down, so that when the mole comes through again, he's going to push this up, and this pan that sets the trap off will be triggered by the mole. The mole will pick this up, and the trap will go down, and we'll catch our mole. So here we have our set trap, and it's kind of a dangerous trap, so you want to keep it facing away from your body. And we're going to put it right exactly where we made the holes before. 
I'm gonna hold this trigger pan down so that it doesn't accidentally go off when I set it in the trap. And so now when the mole comes back through again, this trap will spring and we'll hopefully get him. Over here, we're gonna excavate this mound, clean it up off this grass edge, and then as soon as I dig in here, I can feel the burrow. Check for direction. It's actually going both ways here. So I'm gonna cut back to here. I'm gonna set one cinch trap going in this direction. Sliding it carefully in there, trying not to get any dirt in front of the trap. Then I'm gonna set the other one going the other direction where the burrow goes this way. So what we've done here is we've covered uh, multiple possibilities. Catch this mole. Moles are a lot harder to catch than gophers. And so uh, it takes a little extra preparation. Then I'm going to take and pat these holes closed because I don't want the moles to be frightened by the sign of any light. Here we have a very large mole mound which uh, is extremely fresh, probably just built last night. And what this mole is doing is building a deep tunnel. It's gonna go across this lawn and underneath this walkway, and maybe even underneath these stairs. You can see there's uh, some uh, activity right here, probably from the same mole. So one important thing about moles is that uh, they're not plant eaters. So what we're looking at really is mostly a, a pile of dirt that's smothering this lawn. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just remove this mound for now and set a trap here. But underneath this soil, you can see the grass is all still fine. So a big part of, of uh, mole maintenance is actually cleaning up the grass so that uh, the grass doesn't get smothered. If this, if this is left on this grass for more than three days, then the grass is dead. So we're gonna remove this mound and um, set a trap in this area. This mound is almost gone at this point. Just a, <clears throat> a springy rake would probably do the trick to finish this off. Here's the actual burrow that um, this mole is using to push all this dirt on the surface. So I'm gonna clean it out as much as I can. I'm gonna put a trap right in that burrow. And the trap is gonna be set so that this trigger can move a whole half inch before it goes off. And because I know that this mole is gonna be pushing some soil in front of it. So what we're looking at here is a, a brand new mole mound. And you can see that this lawn was mowed today. And here's the, actually the tire track from the lawnmower. And then after the mower was here this morning, this, go, this mole pushed up this new mound. So we're actually gonna use this as a trapping site. But also just to, to give an idea of, of why it's important to trap at a fresh site, is if you look down this walkway, you can see another mound next to this light post. So we're gonna carefully open this mound up and insert a cinch trap into it. So as I open it, I can feel the tunnel actually goes, you can see the tunnel goes straight across the lawn and right across that walkway. This is a very easy set for the cinch trap. We have a nice open tunnel. We're gonna insert our cinch trap carefully not getting any dirt in this burrow. Like this, getting it in as far as we can. Making sure the trigger can move. I'm gonna set this flag this way so that anyone walking down the path won't uh, accidentally run into this trap. 
That's a great set. We'll take a look at that again tomorrow. And we're here back at the mole trapping site. And you can see that the, a mole actually has gone through or around the uh, Victor Harpoon trap. As we look down here, we see that the cinch trap actually has gone off. So we're going to pull out this trap and see what's going on here. And we caught our mole. It's a beautiful uh, broad-footed mole caught right in the cinch trap.